let's make some drinks. But first, let me slip into something more appropriate for the theme. Now this is more like it. This is my Bone Jangles Halloween suit. Look at that. You see? Little bones on it, eh? How spooky is that? Right, the first cocktail I'm gonna show you how to make that you can enjoy this Halloween. It's not about what the cocktail is, it's about how the cocktail's served. So what I've got here is these little blood bags, right? And you can fill these up with drinks. You can buy these on Amazon, they're really easy to get. I'll leave a link in the description of the exact ones I've got. I think it was like eight or maybe 10 pound and you get a pack of 10. Also comes with this, the blood supply stickers. So you peel off the back and you stick that on there then whatever cocktail you put in there is gonna automatically look spooky. So the cocktail that we are doing, and I'll put it, I'll put the recipe on the screen, is basically a shot of grenadine, a shot of lime juice, a double shot of white rum, and then half a shot of coffee liqueur. You're gonna shake that up real good, and then you're gonna strain it in there. It can be a bit fiddly, but the best thing to do is, if you, get, if you can, get a little funnel, put it in, pour it in the funnel, Otherwise, you just kind of got to get over a bowl, pour it, and then what's in the bowl, back in the shaker, pour again, back, pour again. However, it's worth the payoff, because once you've filled it up, it'll look like this. You see? Spooky, right? Look at that. Super spooky. Now, a great idea for this, what you can do, is you can write there the name. So if you're from like a Halloween party and you've got guests coming, write their name on it and their age, and everyone gets one when they come in. How cool would that be? Or you can just write at the bottom what the cocktail's called, that you're putting in it. And you can put whatever cocktail you want in. Word of warning, when people make these kind of blood cocktails, they always want to go red. Grenadine, which works perfect, obviously, but then they pair it with things like cranberry juice or watermelon, naturally red things. And what you get is this kind of fake looking red. If you want it like this, where it looks more realistic, where it looks like blood, look at that. You have to add something dark in there to really darken it out. That's why we add that coffee liqueur. See, it's not just about flavour. We add such a little bit, you can barely taste it. All it adds is a bit of sweetness and a bit of bitterness. What it's really doing is that little bit of black liquid is just changing the red to make it look less bright, vibrant red and more like blood red. Honestly, this, I just love it. It's super easy to carry as well. Look at that, you just, blah, blah. you can even take the top off here and use that bit as a straw. You're just walking around like, oh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Cool, right? Moving on. All right, so this one I tried. I was just messing around with ideas. <laughs> I love it, right? I call it Casper the Friendly Cocktail. And you'll see why. Here's what we're gonna do. Right, the cocktail itself, I've already made it once again. I'll put that on the screen. It's a couple of shots of milk, a shot of cream, some vodka, and some rose water, right? Super simple. Put it in a cocktail shaker, shake it up. The important thing here isn't necessarily cocktail, but it's a great tasting cocktail, so you know, save that recipe. Go back, have a look at it, save it, tastes delicious. Really sweet, really creamy. It's just, oh, I forgot there's also vanilla syrup in there. So you get this vanilla-ness, it's really nice, but it's the serve once again that looks cool. And it's really easy. Grab a wine glass, and you can do it with any glass, and a black marker, and you're just gonna draw a ghost face on there, so I'll give it some eyes. And, you know, take some artist intuition. Put whatever kind of face you want on there. I don't look like much now, does it? No. But once you get that white cocktail in there, it looks like that. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a little spooky ghost, right? So simple, the garnish, it doesn't need no garnish on top. Now it's quite a lot of liquid in there, so I recommend using a smaller, a smaller glass to be able to fit it all in. But it just looks so cool. And you can have like, you know, picture this, you've got a Halloween party, people coming over, you can have the blood bags around, but then you've just got all these, they've all got different faces on them. You happy face, you a sad face, delicious recipe, delicious serve. Cool, right? Moving on. So this cocktail is basically a daiquiri, but I'm calling it the Drakkery, right? So in a shaker, you've got a standard daiquiri. Double shot of white rum, single shot of lime juice and single shot of sugar syrup. But we're gonna add a little extra. In here, we're gonna add black food gel. Now it's just food coloring, you can get it anyway. You can use the powder one as well. It doesn't taste of anything, but what it does is it makes it black. You don't need much at all. It doesn't have to be pitch black, 
but that kind of murky look just really brings it out. Fill that with ice, shake it as you normally would. Now for the serve, normally you would use like a coupe. I happen to have these like female bodices. It goes with the theme. You don't have to, I will leave a link in the description of where you can get these, but you don't have to have these. This is not necessarily, you can do it in a coupe. This does add to it though. What this is, is honey, poured out a load of honey, red food gel. So pick up your black and your red, put the red food gel in there and I've mixed it all in. So it looks like blue, look at it, blue. Now I'm just gonna dip the glass into that. You know, a nice healthy mouth and you've got this nice sweet rim on it for when you take a sip. Really balances well with a sour cocktail. Put it like that. And the longer you leave it, the more it'll drip. And then you can strain your drink, which should be pretty black by now, into there. You get it? It's a woman bleeding from the neck. What does that remind you of? Dracula. But what's the recipe? It's a daiquiri. So what do you get? Dracula. It doesn't have to be daiquiri. It can be a margarita. It can be a whiskey sour. It doesn't even have to be a sour one. Whatever. Just get some red, get some black food colour in, put that in. And that'll pair really well with like a red rim on whatever drink you want. Now the last drink, we're going to do something a little bit more sophisticated. I'm picturing this as if you're throwing a party, okay? So you've got the sour cocktail, the Dracula. You've got that sweet, creamy cocktail, which is the Casper the Friendly cocktail. And you've also got those blood bags, right? Which is almost like a tiki drink. What do you need? Something hard hitting. So a Negroni, I feel like everyone should know by now, it's equal parts Campari, gin and sweet vermouth. Just one shot of each. For this, we're gonna do a little bit less. One thing about a Negroni is you're putting it in a mixing glass, you're stirring it, you're getting that dilution. We're not gonna dilute this this time. It's gonna be a Negroni shot, so we're gonna do a lot less. I'm gonna do 10 milliliters of each one instead of 25, which is a shot. If you don't use the metric system, just work it out, you know? So we're gonna do 10 milliliters of gin, 10 milliliters of the rest of my Campari, then 10 milliliters of sweet vermouth. Put the cap on, turn it upside down, cap off, get rid of all the air. And there you go, that is a Negroni. But it's a small Negroni, it's an undiluted Negroni. That is a Negroni shot. Get it? It's a shot. It's in a syringe. A shot. It's a Negroni shot. All right. How cool is that? It's a bit hard hitting. It's a bit more of like a sophisticated party drink, Negroni. Super refined, super sophisticated, but we're putting it in a syringe. Anyone wants one, just take the top off. Oh, you're looking a bit, you're looking a bit down. You know, you know what you need? You need a shot. Let me do that for you. Mmm. Super. Delicious. And they are my Halloween cocktails that you can take and you can check out. I've done another video where I've done all my Halloween hacks. So it's a lot of what you've seen here with the syringes, the blood bags, but there's some extra stuff in there. Punch, ice, things like that. Just little twists and just ways that you can make your cocktails look more seasonal, look more Halloween-y, look a bit more spooky. You know, I say it every video, no one ever listens, but maybe now will be the time. Please do show your support. If you like this video, actually like it. If you've got something to say or you've got ideas of your own, comment, actually say it to me. Let's get a conversation started. And if you want to see more videos, please do subscribe. I appreciate it a hell of a lot. So thank you very much. And I would just like to say a happy Halloween to all and to all a good fright. Beep, beep.